Hi, I'm Mike Mitchner, pastor at Westside Fellowship. I appreciate you checking out our websites Monday with Mike. We're trying to help you become all that you can be in the workforce. And as we do that, we want to just refer back to some of the things that the Bible clearly talks about. One, as you look at the nation of Israel through the book of Exodus and Numbers particularly, as they come out of Egypt and as they are headed towards the promised land, they get stuck in a rut and end up wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. Well, during that time, often there would be difficult circumstances arise. Sometimes the Lord would allow those circumstances to test us or to prove prove us as a nation he would say and, and there were some preconditioned responses the nation israel for instance as a people they had this kind of preconditioned response that when the times got tough when the day brought something difficult they would complain they would murmur they would speak out against their leadership moses and aaron as leaders of that great nation would have a preconditioned response also when times got tough when the people murmured against them most often not always but most of the time they would fall flat on their face in dependence on the Lord. And that's what difficult circumstances do. We all face difficult circumstances, whether it's thousands of years ago in the life of the nation Israel or it's in the life of us today. We all face difficult circumstances, and they do one of two things. They either send us backwards or they send us forwards. They either bring out the best in us or they reveal the worst in us. They either grow us or they revert us back to childish ways. It's up to you which it does. And it's kind of your preconceived, preconditioned notions about what difficult situations are going to do. It's really uh, what you think in advance of even before the situation arises. The, the book of James says that we should count it all joy when we fall into all kinds of trials and testings and difficult circumstances. Not joy that we have these difficult circumstances, but in the midst of the difficult circumstances, we can count it joy because we know God is at work doing something in those difficulties. He is growing us. He is maturing us. He is making us complete. And as one of his, as a follower of Jesus Christ, we can look at these difficult circumstances and say, thank you, Lord, for bringing these into my life. I'm going to use them to grow me today. I'm going to let them bring out the best. So this week, when you face difficult circumstances, instead of saying, why me? Or complain and murmur about it, just take that check up from the neck up and say, you know what, Lord? I'm going to let this bring out the best in me. I'm going to let this mature me. And at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, I'm going to thank you for it because you will have been at work in my life. And you will begin to become all that God wants you to be in the workforce or in life. Thanks for listening to Monday's Mike. We'll see you next week.